All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are trying out Heroic Nefarian with common cards only. I really feel like this Hunter deck has potential. We've been, uh, we haven't quite been able to draw things in quite the right places for it to really work. Uh, but we're going to keep trying. The kind of things we need are like a good Cult Master Unleash combo. The explosive traps, kind of hitting things right. Oh, baby. Okay, we have to figure out a way to get value out of that. So, uh, so that... Animal Companion's pretty poor against that. But I think we try and see what we get. Given that, we don't pop that because the 2 1 will hurt a bit much. Twilight Drake? Oh, that guy. Well, if he doesn't trade, I guess we hit into that. So that our explosive trap will be sweet. I guess we want to force this to please hero power first, yes. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, what? Cut, what? What? Just when things look like they're going well, that bullshit happens. So if it was 8 mana, we'd have a really good... Combination. If we cult master now. He may not trade into it. You know what? Given that those are six fours and this is a four two, I don't have the small match. chance he doesn't trade. Though he probably also just has a move for it, like uh, echo uh, the. He doesn't? Okay, we're, we're a bit too low on health, but... We're gonna get a lot of cards, at least. We're gonna get all our cards. Need to actually be careful not to overdraw. <laughs> we have a really nice board in hand, the problem is we're gonna die. How does he always have the perfect response? <laughs> How does he always have the perfect response? The problem is when he switches hero powers, we really can afford almost no damage. So we need to have a very strong board before we pop his armor. Oh yeah, there's also these guys to ruin our day a bit. This is important to get this guy out. Oh jeez, 9-9. Nine, nine. Okay. It's down to three cards. Unleash. Oh. 
There is some combination that really hurts. That explosive trap is not looking good. I have to get ready to kill him pretty quickly. Oh my god, come on. Go, Faith. Okay, messed that up. That's good for us. I think we got a bank on him. See, the problem is he'll trade into this. Can I get him to, uh, I can't. Yes, I can technically kill these off, but I think we gotta just cash in on this. Trying, man. Man, is this hard. And take damage from that and that potentially. Rise on Come on. Get him, get him. And he's still gonna clear our board. So we're gonna need more stuff. I think that's what we gotta try. One. Okay, at least he's doing damage. Oh, yes, you go first. I mean, he can't actually kill this. Relatively lucky. He might take it, tank it, yeah. Okay, so we're close to... We already used both explosive traps, I forget. How do we do this? I think we hit this. I mean, we can actually pop him, then we lose our board. Can't also deal with this is the problem. I think we gotta deal with this while we can. Maybe we'll work on getting... If there's a second secret, work on getting it out. Two more damage. Very close to death. Okay. Not going to I think that's good for us. Oh, that we have to save. Damn, we don't have another... Oh, I should have played this out, what was I thinking? Although we can play it afterwards. Oh, we're so almost dead. Be something good. I should have hit with the, the pilot shredder, then I could have ate and to I think we gotta get this guy. We died of just the fucking dragon's breath, though. Don't have it, man. Don't have it, man. Oh, gotta burst him down. That's interesting. How do we kill that too? We can't play this and kill that, so I think we just go for more card draw. Oh my god, we're never gonna get closer, come on. Okay. This dies, I think we get the card before.
Yes, yes. Out of cards. That'll give us uh, 14 damage on board. All comes down to this top deck. Yes! Snapdragon's Breath! Common cards only, Nefarian defeated. Oh. I'm out of yes. <laughs> Literally took every goddamn card in our deck. We cannot die from playing this. Let's see what happens. Yeah, we're not playing another one. Nefarian, the big bad boss of Blackrock Mountain in heroic mode, taken out with common cards only. Let's take a look at the deck. Here is the deck list. Um, we have a bunch of AoE options for dealing with the bone constructs, namely explosive traps, mad scientists to pull them out of your deck, explosive sheeps, and uh, also unleash the hounds. Um, unleash the hounds has several purposes. One of them can be to act as AoE, especially if you combo with Timberwolf, you can clear a bunch of 4-2s. Um, we have hunter's marks to deal with um, big threats like draconid crushes. Um, we also have Haunted Creepers. We kind of just want some sticky minions that can um, give you a bunch of minions to combo with things like Cult Master or just leave you minions on board after he switches back from Anixia to Nefarian and just wipes out whatever you currently have on board. Mad Bomber, given he floods the board with creatures, you can often uh, kind of, you know, if you're lucky, kill a um, Bone Construct and a uh, Dragon Whelp from a Dragon Egg, etc. Uh, Mad Scientist, we talked about Scavenging Hyena, one of your many potential combos with Unleash. Um, you can grow a big Scavenging Hyena that can do a bunch of damage. We saw a lot of benefit from that in this game. Animal Companion, I feel like, is a little weak. It, it doesn't feel like it does all that much. It dies pretty... Whatever you put out dies to one bone construct. Um, so it doesn't feel like it does that much. Um, so it would probably be a good idea to put in something else. I'm not sure exactly what. Maybe just something that can give you some extra card draw. Kill commands uh, to take out five health things like dragonkin sorcerers, volcanic drakes, etc. You seldom use it for damage to face even though that's the usual hunter um, kind of default. Uh, it doesn't end up kind of making sense in this deck. It's still five damage for three mana if you can combo it with a beast, very effective. Unleash, we talked about combos with lots of things. Harvest Golem, like Haunted Creeper, just sticky, can in theory trade for two bone constructs, which is pretty good. Cult Master is one of the most important cards in your deck. You have to get a lot of card cards ahead of him to be able to keep dealing with everything and deal with the fact that he's going to wipe out your board after he switches back from Nixia to Nefarian. You want to be able to play more stuff. In this game, we got a really good Cult Master combo off. Uh, piloted Shredders are sticky and have high attack power, which is important for bursting him down from... Uh, uh, in his Onyxia stage pretty quickly so you don't die. Um, and Force Tank Maxes, your big threats essentially to be able to wipe him out at the end. Um, it's difficult for him to kill this so if you can get a bunch of punches to the face you're in good shape. Uh, if possible you want to avoid playing it before he switches back from Onyxia to Nefarian uh, because he will just wipe it out. Um, but you know you might need to play it out of necessity to just kill him in Onyxia, kill Onyxia given that you're taking damage from her constant or from the Farian constantly while you're facing Onyxia. And that is the deck. Whoops. That's not what I meant to do. Um, that is the deck. Quickly look through it. It is common cards only. Um, it did take a few attempts. It's pretty powerful. We got kind of close in a couple attempts before, but Really getting a good cult master off is critical. If you don't do that, you're going to kind of run out of cards, be top decking, and your cards, given it's common only, um, and a fairly simple hunter deck at that, you're going to lack for power. You're dependent on combos to really build up a big, uh, big threats. Um, anyway, that's the deck. Um, if you are looking for a really cheap way to beat Nefarian, hope you have luck trying this one out. Um, on to some other less insane challenges. See you later.